So my daughter's teacher emailed me this morning and was like, oh, Jakaya was late to her second period. Um, so therefore, I will be taking her five minute passing period tomorrow. OK, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to question my daughter because I'm never going to go off the word of a teacher due to the fact I had a teacher lie on my son. So I questioned my daughter and I'm like, why were you late the second period? Like, first of all, my kids know I don't play that. And I check their attendance and their grades every day. I don't play that. My daughter's never late to any of her classes, only once, right? So I contact my daughter and I'm like, your teacher just emailed me. Why were you late to second period? She was like, oh, I was in the bathroom. My stomach was was hurting bad. Granted, she wasn't feeling A1 this morning. So I believe my daughter. So when are these kids supposed to be able to go to the bathroom? Because they're only given like two passes for the entire year. And if they use those passes and need to go to the bathroom and don't have a pass, it affects their grade. So when are these kids supposed to go to the bathroom? Because my daughter did right using her passing period to go to the bathroom. It's not her fault that she was in the bathroom a little longer due to her stomach hurting. So... I'm confused. What are you taking my daughter's passing period for? So now you're taking her ability to use the restroom away. So now if she needs to use the restroom during class, what, that's going to affect her again? No, ma'am, I don't agree with you taking my daughter's passing period. And now I have a problem. What's y'all, what's y'all thoughts and opinions? Because baby, when is my child supposed to go to the bathroom? Now, granted, I do know that there are some kids who take advantage of going to the bathroom. But like I said, my daughter never really goes to the bathroom and if she does she uses her passes period and she's never late to the class so ma'am I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some explanations all right y'all a little update so I ended up reaching out to my daughter's teacher and just sending her an email letting her know um that Jakaya really doesn't have attendance issues she's only been late to her class one other time which was the beginning of last month which let me let me add that she was late because she was in the bathroom again um, and that my daughter doesn't have an issue with abusing the restroom privileges. And I don't agree with her taking her passing period away due to the fact that she did what she was supposed to do. She waited until after class was over to use the restroom and got stuck on the toilet. What was she supposed to do? Let's not forget that Jakaya has the same teacher for first and second period. So she waited until after her class was over went to the bathroom, got stuck on the toilet, and was late to class. Mind you, never did her teacher ask her why she was late, just disciplined her for being late. My daughter shouldn't have to walk into a class with multiple other students and let you know that she was in the bathroom and her stomach was hurting, and that was the reason why she was late to class. But it gets me that you didn't even care to ask her why she was late. You just automatically went to disciplining her when... She stated herself that my daughter is not a bad kid, that she doesn't abuse her bathroom privileges, none of that. So where are we going with this? But at this point, the conversation between her teacher and I is not going anywhere. So I just went ahead and contacted the principal because one thing you're not going to do is you're not going to take my daughter's bathroom privileges away because... She went to the bathroom and had an uncontrollable situation to where she couldn't get off the toilet in enough time for her to get back to your class. Ma'am, what was she supposed to do? She did what she was supposed to do. So where are we going with this? I don't even want to talk to you no more. I want to talk to the principal because my daughter is not losing not one privilege because she did nothing wrong. She did what she was supposed to do. And let's not add, like, when is five minutes enough time to go to the bathroom? So you want me to get out of class, walk all the way to the bathroom, Let's hope that none of the stalls are um, booked up. Go to the bathroom, pull my pants down, do whatever I got to do. Pull my pants back up, wash my hands, get back to class before the bell rings. Like, when did schools become jails? Because, ma'am, what? Five minutes is not enough to get to the bathroom, use the bathroom, and get back to class before the bell rings.